Do you know how men process their thoughts and perceive the environment is different from women? So today we are going to have a discussion on cognitive differences between men and women. Kindly watch till the end. The Enlightened Show Be inspired. Be motivated. Be enlightened with your hosts Diane and Cather. With me on set is Musa Muroma. He pursues a degree in psychology and I decided to invite him today so that we can discuss this topic on the difference of cognitive difference of how women think and how men think. And I think he's the right person. So how have you been Musa Muroma? I have been well. Thank you for inviting me to the show. I'm so excited. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been amazing mm -hmm. since the last time I was here. Uh, you have been commenting upon the video about managing your mind for a happier life. Yeah. I believe it helped a lot of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm also looking forward to share information that will help also more of you uh, in this video today. Wow. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and kindly comment. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Always remember to share these videos. You may never know who needs it most. And in each and every of my video, there's always something for you. Yeah. So you're welcome to this talk. We are going to have a little bit of conversation yeah. with Musa Muroma because I believe he's the right person who I have invited. Mm -hmm. We discuss about how men think and how women think differently. Sure. Yeah. So what do you think about the topic? What's the importance of this topic? I think uh, the topic is very important mm -hmm. because each and every day we interact with people. Yeah. Be it in your office, be it in church, be it in school. Even in your home setting, you know, we interact with different people. And I think it's important for each one of us to know our differences, you see, uh, so that we can make our social interactions more efficient and we can be able to have better relationships with those that are around us, you know, even based on our differences uh, as men and yeah. women. Yeah. So in our today's topic, we won't be specific uh, in relationship, like sports relationship. You can apply this knowledge to a brother and a sister, yeah. to a father and a child, a daughter or a son. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be very helpful. Wow. Wow. So thank you so much. So let us start with this conversation. How men are wired differently and how women are wired differently. And these things, because you know a man and yeah. I'm a woman, yeah. I'm a lady, yeah. you think different from me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can start by telling us, how do you do think? differently as a man so the first way i believe men think differently is men are very logical beings you know we think about facts we think about statistics mm -hmm. that is how we think concerning our situations mm -hmm. so most of the times for us we will feel good about things mm -hmm. because we think we have done things the way they are supposed to be done yeah. for me i will feel good mm -hmm. because i have given you a present and mm -hmm. i will expect you to feel good because i have given you a present yeah. because it is expected that logically mm -hmm. if i give you a present yeah. you'll automatically feel good about it <laughs> <laughs> and men automatically women should feel it okay yeah. and this comes to that women we are emotional yeah. emotional beings yeah. and this is when for instance as he has given me an example that when you give me a present you expect me to appreciate it but do you know that mm. anytime you give me a present mm. it depends mm. on, on what it means to me wow. it, it depends if i feeling the present because mm. maybe you can be giving me rose flowers mm. but i don't relate to any <laughs> rose flowers i relate to any <laughs> teddy bears you understand yeah. so if my think is teddy bear and they love cuddling my teddy bear yeah. it gives me a different meaning yeah you understand? sometimes it's very confusing because uh mm -hmm. try and look at that situation mm -hmm. i gave her flowers expecting that she'll be happy and i was happy because <laughs> Uh, I was giving her flowers, yeah. but in turn, she's not happy after me giving her those flowers. And mm -hmm. it gets confusing to men yeah. because you do not understand how sometimes, in quotes, these women are wired to think. Yeah. But like Diana has said, you know, women are very emotional. It's not mm -hmm. all about what I give. It's yeah. also about how they feel about what I am doing, the thing that I'm doing, the thing that what it means to, me. to them. Very you know? true. Because, yeah. and that goes to love language, you understand? Yeah. My love language can be so different from another person. Yeah. That's the reason that, for me personally, mm. if you want to give me a present, mm. teddy bears is mine. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Another person will love to be surprised with a khaki. Another yeah. one with a, a, a marshmallow. That's you understand? And that's, <laughs> and that's how women. So it depends what we are emotionally attached to. Yeah. So that's why you should understand your woman what they love yeah. what they care yeah. what they value yeah. because 
it's it's logically to give me a house yeah. but what if i want a car you yeah. see it's all about our emotions yeah and that's very true so i think it calls for also us as men mm-hmm. to understand how women operate yeah. because at the end of the day mm-hmm. it's not the the fact that you have given something or yeah. by you giving 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 mm-hmm. is supposed to make everything seem good yeah. you know, understand that women are emotional beings apart from giving they need love mm-hmm. they need care yeah. and they need understanding yeah. you know you need to soothe their emotions for everything to be well yeah. and everything to be good so that the conversation will be going to one side and so that we won't be uh, be massaging the woman emotion so much yeah. let me talk about something concerning before men. you move on i need to also uh, do something for men to add some few points for men that's because... what i wanted to say <laughs> <laughs> this was the thing okay let me help you with that okay. i wanted to say that however much men will give us these presents we mm. need to appreciate wow. you understand yeah, appreciate yeah. your man it's yeah. an effort that they have already done yeah. the fact that he comes to me and brings me a rose that's mm. already the fact that your brother has mm. given you a present yeah. appreciate his effort because mm. you know men are wired differently mm. and if my brother gives me a cake during my birthday it's mm. okay mm. if my boyfriend gives me another thing it's okay yeah. if my father gives me another thing it's okay yeah. you understand but i don't think i don't I, what i don't want to say is that don't condemn them yeah. You understand yeah. don't tell them don't abuse them yeah. don't take the flower and throw to them yeah. say i i really appreciate but how you communicate the next time your love language you should be like you know what i my brother I, I i personally don't love cakes during my birthday mm. i do appreciate when you give me i appreciate more when you give me chocolates yeah and you know the thing is that we are trying to find uh, a middle ground where True. we can all meet, you know, and yeah. have a good interaction because I've understood that you are an emotional person. Yeah. You've understood that I am a logistics person. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, as much as I am understanding you, I need yeah. you also to understand me. Yeah. And you know, so uh, if I have made that effort, mm-hmm. and you know, for me, it's a really huge effort. Yeah. I expect to be appreciated. Really? Men love being appreciated. <laughs> so if you appreciate me mm-hmm. and maybe communicate uh, better about yeah. what you would have wanted, mm-hmm. I'll do what you wanted and yeah. I'll do it even better, you know, yeah. with the heart and another thing let me put this out there that relationship it's all about understanding yeah. we are all wired differently he's a guy and i'm a lady mm-hmm. and the way he thinks is different from the way i think yeah. and this means we are different being yeah. and not only because our gender mm-hmm. is because even this it it leads to other things biologically mm-hmm. it's genetic you yeah. understand yeah. so the fact that we are all wired differently mm-hmm. we should come to an understanding yeah. the same thing that you've said musa we mm-hmm. come from different poles we wow. come from different points That's but true. as magnet we <laughs> have to to <laughs> come together yeah so I think the other way that we men think differently mm-hmm. is that our brain our brains are compartmentalized you know that's they, for men that's for men oh, yeah wow, that's yeah. for men so the way for us our information is organized in the mm-hmm. brain there are like specific files for specific things yeah. specific boxes <laughs> for specific things you know uh-huh. we don't store everything at the same at the same place you yeah. know if there's okay in our minds there's a box for work mm-hmm. there's a box for family mm-hmm. there's a box for church there's yeah. a box for maybe friends there's a box for maybe something other uh, anything else maybe sure. a hobby yeah. you know and what happens in our mind mm-hmm. is that we make sure that these boxes don't start true you know my family doesn't start with school yeah <laughs> you know my my school doesn't or my family doesn't start with my hobbies yeah so we try to do everything uh separately we yeah. try to leave those uh separate entities in our lives mm-hmm. as 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 special Mm -hmm. and also as unique you know wow that's very unique of you guys and this is one thing that many people don't know about you men and i want to say concerning women our brain is interconnected like we connect easily with events one event can connect to another event let me give you a scenario for instance uh, a lady can be able to be a mom they can be able to be a CEO. Oh. They can be able to be a businesswoman. Mm. They can still be able to multitask. Mm. That's why you find many women, mm. they are still uh, moms at mm. home. Mm. They are still a teacher somewhere else. Mm. They are still a mentor somewhere else. Yeah. And with all those titles, we can mm. be able to connect. When we yeah. s- go back to home, at home, we switch to be moms. When we go back <laughs> somewhere, we switch to be Madame Boss. <laughs> yeah, let me also to tear for the men. You know, uh-huh. by the fact that we can only, uh, we, we our boxes are not interconnected, yeah. you know, it's also an advantage to us because mm-hmm. if you find a man interested in something, they'll yeah. be very good at it. Yeah. You know, if 
if it's soccer for me, mm -hmm. I'll be very good at soccer. And yeah. that's why you find uh, high profile footballers, you know, mm -hmm. they are specialized in football. Mm -hmm. You find the best chefs in the world are men. Mm -hmm. You find the best CEOs in the world are men. Uh -huh. You know, because as much as their minds are focused, uh, are tuned to focus on one thing at a time, mm -hmm. when they do that thing, they are really good at it. Yeah. You know, it's not a disadvantage, disadvantage at the end of the yeah. day. You know. So to add on whatever you've just said, uh, for men are unique and anytime they are doing a task, they, whatever you want to put out there is that they concentrate more, yeah. they are focused more and mm. their work is very clean mm. and very perfect. Yeah. But also for women, it's also somehow a disadvantage to us. Mm. The fact that we can be able to multitask, sometimes women can be very messy. Yeah. So this is to give us a red flag or to give us a caution that however much you can multitask, let's also practice concentration yeah. it's a means to pro concentration mm. but now this comes to memory musa yeah and before memory uh -huh. i think i'd like to add something you know it calls also for understanding because now mm. that you have understood that for me i am not a multitasker yeah so that is naturally mm -hmm. as maybe if i try and train i can do maybe a few things at a time but yeah. that is with training but in a natural perspective i'm not a multitasker yeah so it calls for you as a lady mm -hmm. maybe if you maybe for yourself you know you can multitask don't mm -hmm. assume that as a man i can multitask <laughs> if i'm cooking i can't text you yeah you know true. if i am talking maybe to someone else if mm -hmm. we are having a family meeting i can't be chatting with you at the same time very you true. know and that is yeah that is very profound and these these things these issues are very practical yeah. you know like the watch what you have said like when you're having a family gathering mm -hmm. and you're texting your girlfriend mm -hmm. you can't be having your family gathering and also texting, texting your girlfriend okay. yeah, yeah wow. you know, and that's why some people have so many issues because uh -huh. as a lady maybe you you are cooking mm -hmm. and you are calling me at the same time yeah so then you then maybe we have an issue and you're wondering mm -hmm. why can't you call me while you are cooking mm -hmm. you know because you're assuming because you you are able to cook yeah. as you're calling me Very for true. me as a man i can call you <laughs> <laughs> as I am cooking, yeah. and for me, it's a lot of work for me to do, you know. So, it calls for you, ladies, to mm -hmm. understand also the gentlemen out there. Wow, wow, this is very <laughs> pronounced. <laughs> okay, another thing that's let's go to memory concerning yeah. memory, yeah. uh, the fact that we can always interconnect to events mm -hmm. uh, for for instance if you're a mom you know that a, a, a lady for instance let me use a birthday because we all have birthdays and yeah. we really feel special when someone remembers your birthday mm -hmm. so for instance like you will see in a family like your mother always remembers your birthday but your father never remembers your birthday <laughs> or even your brother can't remember your sisters will be very ready that yeah. today is your birthday mm -hmm. but your brothers your boyfriends mm -hmm. the men in in your sphere Starbucks. of contact <laughs> so you know, uh, as you said you mm -hmm. know it also roots out to our biolo biology yeah because like i said earlier you know uh, women tend to use more of the gray matter the gray yeah. matter is a part of the brain mm -hmm. you know while the men use most uh, the women use the white matter sorry yeah. while the men use the, the gray, gray matter, matter. Yeah. you know and the white matter is connects uh, most parts of the brain you know sure. that's why women are able to connect between many many events yeah you know so at the end of the day mm -hmm. you find that the, there's a, also a part of the brain called the hippocampus mm -hmm. so the hippocampus of the females is more developed than that of the males yeah so that means they are able to store a lot of things in their mind more mm -hmm. than women are able to store yeah so that's why you find that uh, women are able to remember a lot of details mm -hmm. some even we think as men are irrelevant mm -hmm. but you know that is how they are naturally they remember almost everything in life yeah and because we are not here to despise men we are not here to despise women mm -hmm. women i want to say something concerning this mm -hmm. if it's your spouse the best thing to do is always to remind to remind your man remind your man that today is your birthday remind your father mm -hmm. today is my birthday mm -hmm. remind them if you con consistently remind them there yeah. is something called reinforcement in psychology wow. if you consistently remind them they are going to adapt that habit yeah. and the memory is going to always click mm -hmm. at this period of december you know my birthday <laughs> is december <laughs> let me talk for myself mm -hmm. at this period uh, at this season of december mm -hmm. and today is the Anna's birthday there is something that is going to connect you understand yeah, yeah. and out of repeating repeatedly reminding them mm -hmm. it will help them so yeah. also there for women mm -hmm. for ladies outside there mm. do not tire to remind your men yeah. know that this is not an ignorant issue mm. it's not out of ignorance mm. that they are trying to ignore your birthday mm. or some special events even your anniversary yeah. it's not out of ignorance it's because we are wired 
differently. Yeah. So even even if I forget those special days to you, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I don't care. What mm-hmm. what it means is that it's not bad for you to always remind me. Very you know? true. It's not also bad if I forget. You yeah. Know? So you just need to understand. Mm-hmm. And you see, the more you understand, the mm-hmm. more I also understand you. The better we are. The, the better we live. And the happier we are. We are. Yeah. That's very true. Mm-hmm. And another thing concerning how we differ, we, we, we think differently is concerning the hints. Mm-hmm. Emotional hints. Mm-hmm. This is when, for instance, when I'm feeling sad, I'm yeah. feeling annoyed. Mm-hmm. You know, you expect someone like your dad to recognize your sad yeah. that day you're moody. Mm-hmm. Or even someone like your boyfriend or mm-hmm. someone like your brother to feel like, hey, today you're moody. What's wrong? Mm-hmm. But what happens? <laughs> okay what usually happens is uh-huh. that i say that men we are logical thinkers mm-hmm. so for me expect mm-hmm. if i have been doing everything perfectly yeah if everything for me i have been doing is normal mm-hmm. i expect everything to be good yeah so maybe if you're moody mm-hmm. for me if i cannot rationally uh, understand why you're moody yeah i cannot relate with your emotions you know, it's it becomes difficult for me to notice that you're angry. Yeah. And I might just think it's just your normal face when you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. And so, oh, it's not uh, entirely our fault. But as I said, we are rational thinkers. Yeah. For me, I will attribute everything mm-hmm. to facts. Yeah. If I have not done something bad to you mm-hmm. and you're angry, mm-hmm. it's hard for me to to get into that position where now we are talking because you're angry. No. Okay, now the man in the show has already justified themselves. So <laughs> now let me start by saying, so what's the solution? Because for us as lady, we love to be massaged, you understand? Mm. We love our brother to hug us, our mm. father to tap us, to say, you know what, my daughter, mm. I know you're feeling bad. Mm. So what's wrong? You want your boyfriend to give you a warm hug, mm. to encourage you. But now because whatever you do, you think... For the solution you think that i'm moody because of the circumstance so what happens how can we come to you know <laughs> to an agreement so i think the solution is to understand that generally mm-hmm. in a general situation mm-hmm. ladies are usually very emotional yeah they are very emotional beings mm-hmm. so what you, you need to do as a man what you need to do as a brother as a father is to understand their nature yeah. as ladies as we say that their minds are so interconnected. Yeah. So it may not be you, uh-huh. it may not be what you did, uh-huh. it may be just something else, just some <laughs> random thing that is disturbing them. True. But so what you need to do is just to come to their level and suit their emotion. Try yeah. to find out what is happening in their life. Yeah. Try to find out what, what is going on. Yeah. You know, and at the end of it all, they'll, mm-hmm. they'll appreciate what you're doing to them. They'll feel more loved. Yeah. You know, because by you noticing, mm-hmm. they'll know that you love them. Especially. Yeah. And you see another thing, mm-hmm. Also, I'd like to comment about ladies. For instance, for me, I may be unable to notice uh, your mood changes, yeah. but I have observed that it it is very easy mm-hmm. for a lady to observe uh, a change in a guy. Very true. If it is a mood change, mm. if they are angry or f- or if they are calm or whatever yeah. thing has happened, it's yeah. very easy for ladies to 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 perceive notice, that. Yeah. So tell us about that. So, one thing concerning ladies, we are very keen into details. You mm. understand? Yeah. Any change. Uh, uh, for a man, you understand? Anytime a man changes their mood, anytime, yeah. even if you see one thing, even if your man dresses in a certain way, and another <laughs> day he comes in a certain way, it becomes an issue to us. Yeah. Or even if your father behaves differently, or mm-hmm. even your brother, we are easy, we can be able to notice things mm-hmm. because we are very keen into details. Mm-hmm. And one thing men don't know that for us, we are not general human beings. Yeah. We don't think generally. Mm-hmm. We things connect to each other yeah. you know haba, haba <laughs> this and this this yeah. and, that's why you see in relationship your girl will come with an issue mm. you don't know where it came from yeah. but because of that the, the, the small change yeah. that's not the issue wow yeah and you know another thing mm-hmm. also i'd like to appreciate about you ladies is that ladies are able to to empathize with people Empa- yeah. Empa- empath- <laughs> <laughs> empathize <laughs> <laughs> empathize with people yeah you know because sometimes it's hard for for me as a guy to now come and yeah. sit at your level and yeah. start uh going into emotion start feeling what you're feeling yeah. for me you know i'm attuned to always finding solutions to your problem yeah for me if you come with me with an emotional baggage mm-hmm. i'll try and look for mm-hmm. 
for a solution. Mm -hmm. But there is something I learned when you were doing biological psychology. You yeah. know, they talked about there is a part of the brain called the insula. Yeah. Also in ladies, the insula is also uh, far more developed than in men. Mm -hmm. So if a lady sees that you are sad, if a lady sees that you are angry, mm -hmm. and those mental Im those images go to to her mental, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there are hormones that are produced in the body, yeah. and she's able to uh, almost feel what you're feeling. If you are sad. Uh, if a lady is near you, she mm. can feel that uh, sad vibe and relate with that, mm. you know, and she can be able to understand you. So that is why uh, most most of the times ladies are very caring. Yeah, you very know? true. They are very caring and very motherly. Yeah. You know, because they have that capacity to yeah. understand you in that particular way. Yeah. And, uh, and now to come to a conclusion to this uh, conversation is let us see some of the things that we can learn from each other. Is that the fact that a man can provide to the family. Yeah. They can provide the school fees. They can provide the basic needs. They mm. can pay the rent. They also have to come to an emotional level. Yeah. They have to come back to the children and mm. ask the children, how are you doing today? Yeah. What was there? Because you find most of the time a father doesn't know which class the son is. They mm. don't know even if you are dating or not. They mm. don't know who 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 are your best friends. You understand? What is happening? What in your is life. happening in your life? Yeah. And these are some of the things that are very hurtful when mm. it comes to emotional, mostly yeah. on ladies. That you know your brothers cannot miss, mostly be affected, but mm. the girl child. You understand? Yeah. When it comes emotionally, the girl child will be very affected. Mm. So. This is to say this out there. That this is an advice to men out there. That mm. However much you feel that you're going to provide, mm. you're going to send an investor somewhere. Mm. Kindly come back and ask: yeah. is, Did that money? Did that money make impact in your life? It will add more value to that money. Yeah, that's very true, and that is what I have personally learned from this show today. Mm -hmm. That even apart from giving, you know, yeah. it's important to understand the people that we have around us yeah. emotionally. You know, get to observe the details about their life. Get That's to be true. more involved, mm -hmm. to know what happens in their daily life. You know, yeah. It's a part of showing love and care. Mm -hmm. you, know, we, you know, we are just so attuned to how we have evolved because we, we are taught that for a man to show love, mm -hmm. it's provision. Yeah. You know, now we are in a completely different world. Yeah. You know, even a woman can provide. Yeah. So it's not about provision. Provision. Mm -hmm. And so you also need to take your time mm -hmm. and also yeah look into the into the lives of those that you are with yeah and also maybe i can talk uh to the ladies out there wow. yeah now that you have noticed these things about men mm -hmm. you have noticed that we are different we are logical mm -hmm. thinkers mm -hmm. you know and there is a reason why you have that those things that i have talked about that higher developed hippocampus mm -hmm. that higher developed insula yeah. you know god gave you that ability so that you can be helpers to those men that are around you yeah as I've told you, don't feel bad when maybe your father doesn't remember your birthday right. or maybe your spouse doesn't remember your anniversary. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay to remind them. Yeah. It doesn't mean that they don't love you, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to remind them always. Mm -hmm. And also because you have the capacity to empathize. Mm -hmm. To <laughs> empathize. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, it's wonderful today. Yeah. Because you have that capacity to, to feel what they are able to feel. Mm -hmm. You know, not that it is very hard for men to express themselves emotionally, mm -hmm. but God has given you that ability to be able to understand them, to be able to understand how they feel. Yeah. So also be, yeah, do what you are meant to do. Mm -hmm. uh, love them, care mm -hmm. for them, yeah. yeah, and understand them. Yeah, and finally, thank you guys for watching. I want to leave you guys with one thing that communication is the key. Wow. You have to communicate. Yeah. If you are in a relationship, in a marriage, or mm -hmm. any kind of a intimate relationship, romantic relationship, mm -hmm. brother to sister relationship, communication yeah. is a key. Yeah. It will always is a pillar to any relationship. Yeah. If you won't communicate, no one will ever know what you feel. Yeah. No one will ever know what you think. That's if true. also you're a man, try to communicate too. Yeah. A lady communicate. Mm -hmm. And out of the communication is the ability of resilience. Out mm -hmm. of out of that disagreement, mm -hmm. how how the ability of coming back together in yeah. agreement. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. We can't say that we can't ignore the fact that we do disagree, mm -hmm. but the ability to come again in agreement, yeah. that's the core thing. And That's it's true. out of communication yeah. and understanding each That's other. So, can you tell my viewers something? So, uh, Dana has said a lot. We have shared a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you have learned from this video. Yeah. The most important thing is don't just uh, take the knowledge for your head. Yeah. You know, go and apply it in your life. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, give your feedback on the impact of these videos to you. Mm -hmm. And also, share with your friends if you see that 
they are impactful. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Musa, for coming. I will be having more other shows together. Yeah. And I really appreciate the value that you put in the YouTube channel. Thank, thank you. you so much. You're such an inspiration to me and also to other people also mm -hmm. there. So kindly, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, comment, and share to your fellow friends. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day ahead. So bye bye guys. Bye bye. We love you all. We love you. Okay.